something that like I love doing and now it's just that it, it comes it came to an end and you guys I don't want to cry so I'm trying so hard to pull back my tears because I don't want to I don't want to cry on camera so I do want to say that before you guys um, try to comment anything bad or negative Please watch the whole video. Please make sure of what you're talking about. Um, throughout the whole video, I did explain clearly how I feel and why I'm doing this. So please, I don't wanna hear it. Like, I don't wanna hear bad comments, especially if you did not watch the whole video. So let's get into it. What is up, YouTube? Welcome, welcome back to my channel and back with another video, you guys. Um, in today's video, I'm going to be talking about why I'm permanently shutting down my business. I'm closing it. Um, I feel like I've been way too indecisive of doing this because it's something that I love doing and it's something that I want to continue to do and have patience and just keep going but it's just not really working out for me um basically i've been going through a lot and um i just feel like my business is not it's not working anymore like this is not for me anymore and i'm just closing it um I know I said I was gonna close it a while back ago. I'm not sure if you guys saw any posts like that. Um, I'm gonna put some clips on the side so you can, um, you know, like remember. But in that time when that was going on, I really wanted to close it because I was just not making orders for months at all. Like I'm telling you, not even one. And um, I was like, I might as well close it because like nothing is going on. I'm, nothing is, you know. So what I did is I spent like 1500 I think, or $2,000. And basically, I did an investment to rebrand my business, change it up changing tubes and everything i said maybe if i change the quality of my business then it will be better maybe it will attract people's attention maybe things will look better maybe i'll get more orders maybe things will look professional um basically that's what i wanted to do and that that was my my intentions i didn't want to give up i wanted to keep pushing and keep going because I'm a person that doesn't give up. I'm a person that keeps going until I get there. But honestly, I feel like I've wasted so much money. And I haven't received nothing back. Um, with this YouTube stuff, it has helped me build my business, grow my business, help me invest um, more. Because, you know, I'm receiving money from YouTube and then I, I've just put it all in my business. Like, I wouldn't even put it to myself, only sometimes, but most of the time it was all for my business. Um, if you guys didn't know, and I will mention it, because I feel like you guys need to know that I really put the effort to this into this. And last year of 2020, and maybe including this one, I've wasted a total, in 2020, I've wasted a total of 25K in my business um, throughout the year because, you know, I'm constantly buying products, this and that, you know, and I've done the total. So this is not like, I'm not guessing I've done the total because of my bank statements. Um, I didn't use cash at all. I use all, everything is on my bank. And from this year 
it's probably a total of 30k or so maybe even more i don't know because i haven't done the total of this year but i've done a really big investment in this business and i have gotten nothing back compared to what i have wasted i have gotten nothing back so when i began my business everything was going good because i started at school i didn't even have a website everything was at school i would sell a lot of stuff at school and basically i made a total of 400 um dollars selling lip glosses lashes i'm, I'm sorry you guys i'm chewing a gum um and from there i started i was like this is good you know after that i started using a, a website got really serious about it um and i started making a good amount of money in one month i would make like 1k 1.2k selling products and i was like this is going good like i see a future into this i would constantly get orders like everything was going so good until i started school again because i basically did everything towards the end of the school year mind you actually i started my business in 2019 i think i'm not sure but when i started it was towards the end of um towards the end of the school year and then all the i had my whole my whole time and effort was put into my business my whole summer like i didn't even go out i didn't do nothing my 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 mindset was just towards my business and that's when everything started going well because i had time to you know put into my business and basically when school started obviously september that's when august september that's when we start school um when i started everything went downhill i didn't have time anymore my grades were i'm telling you i was failing i had these f's because my time was all on my business that i didn't even have time or put i didn't even put time into school so when i put my time into school i didn't have no more time to put into my business i couldn't do videos um i was lacking with videos i wasn't making enough money at that time i wasn't um yet having bills to pay now that i'm older i do so i really like actually need the money now because i'm you know i have more responsibilities so the fact that now everything is going so downhill and the fact that i don't even have a job you guys i haven't had a job never i've had two jobs and i lasted a week so basically this is something that i'm living off and providing myself this is the only way i can provide myself because this is what i'm doing something that i love and basically back then the money didn't really bother me because I, I was in school, like I didn't have responsibilities, so I didn't care how much I won. I just cared about that I would want to make a certain amount so that way I can invest into my business. That's all I cared about. Um, but what I was mostly worried was about the subscribers because I didn't want to lose you guys. And basically I wasn't active, active at all on YouTube and people were like, when you come back, when you uploading this and that and basically my whole mind was just towards my business and that's when things went downhill but then i got back up once i got back up um everything was fine until covid hit so basically a year had passed 2020 came and that was like the worst because Packages literally took two months to arrive to the customers. All I would have was customers complaining about their orders. That's all. My whole email was packed of customers saying, where's my order? I haven't received my order. It's been this certain amount of time. 
Also, I ordered a lot of tubes, lip gloss base, a, a bunch of supplies, products, and they never got to my house. They took forever. So it's like, they took a long time. It took like two months to arrive to my house and all that, my business went downhill. We all know what happened in COVID with um, in the business industry. We all know that we really stressed ourselves out there because everything was so difficult. And so that's when my business went downhill again. And ever since, it's been hard for me to lift back up because that's when online online school started. And I know you you guys are probably like, okay, but if you have online school now, don't you have more time for school? For your business and school because it's online yes you're right you're right but guess what I didn't have time either um basically this whole school year since I already graduated in June but I'm talking about that whole school year um basically I didn't do barely nothing for my business because I was so busy into school and I wanted to graduate, I was failing again because I wanted to put all the time and effort into YouTube and um, my business. And basically everything just went like downhill because I was just too focused in school. I wanted to graduate, you guys, like I wanted to pass. I was failing. Um, my, the teachers would literally call my mom every day so, um, basically, all that has been happening to me, and I haven't made a dime in months with my business. I haven't sold nothing at all. Um, I've made a couple orders, maybe four. Ever since I opened back my business, I've probably made like four orders um I just haven't made nothing at all and on YouTube I haven't made nothing either um everything is just so down um so now I pay rent I pay car insurance I pay credit cards I pay um gas I pay um, websites. I pay so many things now that I didn't before. That um, is stressing me out because I don't have the money for it. I'm basically, I'm not broke because I am working now. But what I'm trying to say is that I'm not really winning a lot on YouTube like before to provide for myself. So that's really like stressful because I want to do something that I love. Um, so this about the YouTube and business is not about money. I don't want it to make it seem like that. I just can't waste my time and effort onto something and I'm not really winning anything off it it's like if you're working at mcdonald's sorry if i use this as an example no offense to people who work at mcdonald's trust me i don't i have a lot of family that work there i'm not judging or anything i'm just saying that let's say if you work at mcdonald's and you're basically working there for free and you're not winning anything because you're just like basically like a volunteer and you're just there every single day doing something and you're not winning money back, how would you feel? And that's exactly what I'm doing with my business. I'm making a lot of videos. I'm making a lot of lip gloss. I'm working on my website every single day. I'm doing something and I'm not winning nothing at all. So it's like, how am I supposed to put time and effort into something if I'm not getting anything back out of it? So, Please understand what I'm trying to say. I don't want to make it seem like this is all about money, but you can't do something every single day and not get anything from it. So basically, um, I'm trying to be more active on YouTube, post more videos and all that. 
um it's been it's been working a little bit the views are going up a bit but i'm still not winning enough so basically what i'm doing right now is i'm working as uber eats and if you guys didn't know with uber eats you can work at any time you want you can clock in anytime you want clock out anytime you want and you win a pretty good amount of money so um that's what i've been working right now and um after that i just go and record videos for you guys so i am going to continue youtube i'm not going to stop youtube obviously i'm I, no matter how much i win i don't want to stop doing youtube this is this is what i want to do this is what i love but my business i think has to close due to the fact that i'm not receiving no orders at all i can show you guys I, I have proof like i'm not playing this is no joke um so basically everything that i have i'm going to sell it as wholesale that way it sells more faster instead of selling it individually for example i have 50 glosses i have more than that i have hundreds actually i can show you guys but besides the point if i have 50 glosses i'm gonna probably sell it all for 40 dollars so wholesale basically i'm gonna sell everything in my business for wholesale for you guys um hopefully you guys are interested and um yeah you guys um i'm closing my business honestly i don't know how to feel about this because um i didn't want it to go this way like i didn't want it to i just didn't want it to be like this i didn't want to end anything i didn't want nothing to end i just wanted to keep pushing i wanted to keep going but unfortunately i can't i can't keep going it's just i'm giving up but i'm not giving up on you guys <laughs> so Um, I am going to continue nails as well, doing nails. Um, that's something else that I love doing. So that's probably going to be like my side hustle in the future. And obviously, um, that's something that will continue. Even though, I'm sorry. Even though it does have it, its ups and downs, it's still something that continues. I'm sorry, I'm burping. Anyways um so yeah you guys i'm closing my business and but i'm gonna do it after i sell everything i want everything out all like i said it's gonna be wholesale i'm probably am going to still continue to do lip gloss videos and talk about business um even though i don't have one myself like well i have one but like um, at the time that I will do those videos, I'm not going to have it anymore. So, either way, um, with my experience and everything that I've learned, I want to pass it on to everybody else so that you guys don't do the same mistakes that I did. So, I will continue to do that, you guys. Um... Like I said, I won't let you guys down, but I will let my business down. Which, I don't know if that's letting you guys down either way, but I mean, um, it is what it is. Like, I might do like lip gloss for you guys, like YouTube videos, and then probably sell like the lip gloss that I made. That way, like, but not in tubes, like in a container. That way, like, I still have something, but it's not something I'm going to put, like, a lot of effort into as I did with my business. Um, I know you guys are probably like, oh, but you're investing in your nail stuff. Yes, 
I am, but I kind of started doing nails the same time that I started my business. Um, it's just I've only been doing it to myself and my family members. I haven't really like done it to other people that I don't know. Like I haven't made appointments or anything like that. I just been doing nails for myself and for other people because I love doing it. It calms me down. It releases my stress. Um, it's something that I love doing and something that I probably will continue to do and soon, sooner on like have appointments and all that and basically probably even make it full time so it is something that I'm not really putting money into because I already had a lot of stuff from back then so I basically it's not like a big investment yet but if it is sooner I'm pretty sure I'm going to win the money back if that makes sense so Anyways, like I said, I don't want to make this about money. I just came clear to myself. Like, I made, I've made, i made a decision, and this is my decision to end it. And, yeah, um, I'm really sorry, you guys. I wish I could have continued. I wish I would have kept going. But um, some things just, you know can't continue some things just go to an end um this is not what i expected at all i i did not expect this at all like i'm telling you guys when i started i had so much passion i was so into it that you couldn't stop me like you can even ask my family my boyfriend my friends i was I would talk about it every day. I was so passionate about it. And I came to an end where I'm not even passionate about it no more. Which I don't know why though. Um, like I said, I didn't want this to happen. But <sighs> enough talking because this video is probably way too long for you guys. I don't, I don't think you guys probably going to see it all because it's going to be boring. But I just wanted to explain this to you guys, so yeah. Um, um, this gets me um, very emotional because, like I said, um, this was something that like I loved doing, and now it's just that it, it comes, it came to an end, and you guys, I don't want to cry, so I'm trying so hard to pull back my tears. Because I don't want to, I don't want to cry on camera. <sighs> Anyways, oh my god. <sighs> yeah, you guys, thank you for watching. I hope you guys understand. I hope I don't get any type of negative comments or anything like that. I hope you guys don't get upset with me. But this is what it is. Um, life is life. Some things come to an end some things continue some things go on forever you know this is life so yeah you guys like i said i hope you guys understand and i hope you guys continue to see my next future videos and continue with me like i hope you guys never like stop watching my videos like you know i hope you guys still support me no matter what my decisions are so hey guys thank you for watching and i will see you guys on my next one